I'm Donnie Baker, and these are my river confessions. The other night, I remembered the details the first time I ever went finger dipping in a girl. I swear to God. And it brought back some vivid memories because my rendition wasn't traditional, you know, like behind a dumpster or a hayride like most people. We were over at her mom's house, and luckily her mom got called in for a double or something. <laughs> She's a mortician, so we prayed for shit like that to happen. Well, next thing you know, you know, she gives me the look, and and I went basically like you would go noodling for catfish. And it took me a second. She had one of them, what they call hide -a pussies now. For me, it was like a, felt like a Murphy bed, but the mattress was wet. But when I got there, you knew, man, it's like probably the first time a bee tasted its own honey or something. I swear to God. And, you know, it's like I finally made it to second base, and you, it's like you felt your badge of honor. It's just different, you know. And you pull out, and your fingers are dripping like a stalactite from Moringo Cave. And you know she's primed and pumped and ready, you know. She's so innocent, you know. You do that thing where you, you're kissing or hugging her, and you put your fingers over the shoulder, and you do like that bell check or whatever you're doing. I still do that sometimes if I'm like at Red Lobster's. Because I don't want my Cheddar Bay Biscuits to... <laughs> my Cheddar Bay Biscuits being that close to the tank. So I do that. To this day, it's a life lesson. I've used that more than algebra. And I'll say it right to Common Core's face. But it's amazing how once I broke the cell on her, how she just went from being the good girl next door. Love gummy bears. Love gummy bears to where she was basically humping everything. I swear to God. Their home was new when she moved in. Now every doorknob's antique brass. And some of them rusted. And she went from a sweet, innocent girl to just being off the hook searching for Peter. You couldn't give it to her enough. I remember the first time we did it, did it. And I broke her in. Scotty Winkler will tell you. She was walking funny in her bun huggers after volleyball practice, so we had to take her to the gyno. And I was the only one that had jumper cables, you know. And so I stepped up and asked her for gas money, and off we went. And something was weird. Well, this is Circus, I don't know, 1994. They put her up on a vag rack. This is long ago, like hydraulics, like they did Jiffy Lubes. And this is so long ago, girls, this is back when they had three stirrups. Two for your feet and one for your shame. And I'll never forget that doctor took one look up there, like this. He looked up there and then looked at me, looked up again, and went, Oh, shit, it's totaled. I swear to God he did. Hurt her feelings. But then he, he high-fives me, so what, am I going to leave him hanging? And she got pissed, you know. That's rude. It's unchristian. Well, that's how you're supposed to get three estimates, Angel. Wasn't my chiropractor. I swear to God, man. Now, she was sweet and innocent then. Well, now they call her Talladega, because, hell, you can run three wide in it. Shit. I'm tired of the abuse. I have to sell my boat too. I ain't working drive throughs I swear to God, just raise a minimum wage. <laughs>